Hey friends, we've got some stuff to talk about today regarding NVIDIA's upcoming GTX graphics cards. There's a lot to go through and I just want to spend an entire video detailing it all, kind of discussing what we're, we're, what we're anticipating here. And uh, yeah, no, I have, a, I have a nice little bump right there. I, uh, I got into a fight with the door and I lost. So with that being said, today's video is brought to you by UFD Deals. UFD Deals is our website where we conglomerate all of the tech deals that we can find on the internet and put it in one location so that you can sort by graphics cards, motherboards, monitors, whatever you want for buying things for your computer and you can be sure that you're getting the best price on it if you see it on our website. Everything's an affiliate link so we get a kickback but you save money, we make money. It's a win-win situation, my friends. So uh, head on over to UFD Deals if you're looking to pick something up like a new graphics card, which maybe you might not want to do, especially considering what's coming down the pipeline in probably about just two to three weeks, depending on who you might be listening to. So NVIDIA's new GTX cards. This is what we've been waiting for for quite some time. The RTX cards are just way overpriced. Reese, can you toss me the 2060 box? Toss it in. Oh, I wasn't expecting it to be so close to the drink. You're like right over it. The 2060, even though it's the best value RTX card you can get, $350 just isn't reasonable for most people. So what are we gonna do? Well, Nvidia seems to actually have some sense when it comes to what's coming down the pipeline because everybody was upset that the 60 class GPU is $350, but it turns out that the RTX 2060 isn't the replacement for the 1060. It's just a whole new class of GPUs. The RTX series of cards seems to be a very standalone thing. And what Nvidia is doing for the mid tier and lower is bringing us what we would expect. So that's where the rumors of the 1660 Ti sort of slotted in. However, at this point, I'm fairly confident that we can consider this more of a concrete rumor rather than something that's soft and nebulous and our hopeful wish and dreams that Nvidia might bless us with appropriately priced graphics cards at some point in the near future. It looks like this is an actual real thing. So I'm gonna go through the sources that we have here and then I'll talk about uh, my opinion on it in a bit. But first up is this picture, which what looks to be an announcement that happened in China of Nvidia unveiling the new GTX Turing. And you can see right there, GTX 166 appears to be the naming scheme that they are going with. The indication is that we're going to get a 1660 Ti and a GTX 1660. The 1660 Ti will have 1,536 CUDA cores, whereas the 1660 will have 1,280. I'll talk about the price in a bit, but it seems that the TI version will have GDDR6 and the non-TI version will have GDDR5, likely X, because as we found out in the NVIDIA did an oopsie video, uh, NVIDIA took a $120 million bath on their purchases of VRAM. So they have an overstock at this point, which means that they need to shove it into every graphics card that they possibly can. So 1660 Ti getting GDDR6 and then the 1660 having both a six and a three gigabyte version of the GDDR5X. But not only that, not only did we get the naming scheme potentially unveiled, Hard OCP broke the news as to the release date and as well as the price. So it looks like the 1660 Ti is going to come in at $280, which is actually effectively a $20 price cut from the GTX 1060. This is the appropriate replacement for the 1060. $20 cheaper, and uh, I'll talk about performance in a second, but $280, a decent price for six gigabytes of GDDR6 with it. And according to hard OCP sources that the 1660 Ti will launch on February 15th. According to my sources, which I usually don't bring up things that I hear, except for this is somebody that I trust with 100% confidence, the 1660 Ti will likely be announced on February 15th by NVIDIA and then sales will actually take place on the 22nd. You probably can pre-order it in that seven day window with them actually going out to customers on the 22nd. I would expect reviewers to have the reviews out on the 15th if I had to guess. We've had no communication with NVIDIA on this so I'm just uh, spitballing there. But then also the GTX 1660 non-TI is looking to launch in early March at $229. And then the GTX 1650 will go on sale for $180 
in late March. So the GTX 1050 had an MSRP of $110 and the 1050 Ti had an MSRP of $140. So this seems to be a $40 price bump, but looking at the performance that I would expect from this, and this is a little bit based on rumor, it's a little bit based on some of my sources, and it's a little bit based on uh, other stuff that I've seen on the internet. If I had to guess, the GTX 1660 Ti is going to be basically a GTX 1070 in performance, if not a little bit better, which at $280 means that we're getting more performance for less price than the 10 series, which is what everybody wants wanted. The 1660 will likely be better than a 1060, probably mid midway to the 1070 mark, and it would effectively have a competition of the RX 590 from AMD at $230 for the 1660. $230 for the 1660, or you pay for the RX 590, that's gonna be a pretty heavy battle there, unless of course you go with the three gigabytes of VRAM on that, then in which case it's just not even worth it. You should pick up an RX 590 with the eight gigabytes of GDR5 there. And then the 1650 at its $180 price point, my guess is that it would probably be uh, closer to a 1063 gig in total performance for $180. That's not too bad. So it looks like most 1063 gigs new are going for about $200. Some are 190, some are 170, but the refurbished ones are 160. So 180 for 1063 gig level performance actually isn't that much of an increase. It looks like the best value that's coming out here is that 1660 Ti for guessing, of course, don't quote me on this wholeheartedly, but 1070 level performance for $280, that's a pretty good deal. It kind of does away with the argument that the 2060 is the replacement for the 1060. It looks like the 1660 Ti is what we would consider as the replacement for the 1060, not the 2060, which is a stupid price if you consider that. And then not only do we have all of those rumors, we do have some information from filings with the Eurasian Economics Commission, both Palette as well as MSI have filed with them showing that the 1660 Ti is likely going to be the name. And I'm sure I hear a lot of you through the internet right now saying the 1660 Ti is a stupid name. Why would they call it that? We have the RTX 2060. Why couldn't they call it the GTX 1160 or the GTX 2060? And I think it's exactly that. It's the fact that we would even ask that question is the reason NVIDIA would be doing this. Why would they name it something completely arbitrary and stupid? I'm sure they have their reasons, but arbitrary and stupid decisions get talked about. We discuss it. We make videos on the fact that it's a dumb name. We mention it. We constantly bring it up and give NVIDIA more mindshare. It actually allows them to do some marketing without actually having to pay for it because they just name it something stupid and everybody's like, hey, I don't like that. But dang, have you seen its performance? So the 16 series is likely just a marketing move. It's a gimmick as far as I can tell. And it's about as effective as it possibly could be without just completely changing up their naming scheme altogether and calling it like that. that Alpha Centauri number four. But with all of the rumors that I'm hearing behind the scenes with people that I know and trust, I'm not gonna name names or even put any information out there for you guys, so you can trust me or not. But according to everything we have on the internet, this looks like a good deal. From everything I'm hearing, this is actually a real thing and also is going to be a pretty good deal. It seems like the 1660 Ti is going to be a card worth buying. It's going to be something that I probably will pick up for myself as soon as it launches. Obviously, we're not not gonna recommend that you just go ahead and buy it. We're not Tom's Hardware. We want you to actually see reviews act, take place. But if I was somebody who had money to pick up a GTX 1060 right now, I would, I would wait. I would wait just a few weeks to see what's actually coming out Wait till the end of the month, and if it actually turns out that the 1660 Ti is coming out, you're gonna get much better performance for the exact same price that you're willing to pay for the GTX 1060 just today. Again, that's not a hard and fast recommendation, but that's that's what I would do if I was in the market purchasing for purchasing a 1060 or 580 level performance. I'd save my money, get that 23 days worth of interest, and uh, just hold off, hold your horses, because it looks like there's something pretty sweet coming right around the corner. It does look like towards the lower end with the 1650, it's not gonna be as great of a value as the higher end 1660 Ti, 
But thankfully, NVIDIA is bringing out a GTX level card. It kind of shows that they do give some credit to AMD on the Radeon side of things, since this is where they're choosing to compete on price, is at the mid-tier level of things because the, they launched the RX 590, and it seems that's where NVIDIA is squarely placing the focus of the 1660 Ti cards, exactly what they did with the 1070 Ti launch when Vega 56 came out. They realized it was mostly better than a 1070, so they had to have a card in a similar price bracket that could actually handily beat it. It seems like that was a reaction card. I'm not necessarily sure the GTX 16 series is a reaction or if it's something that they've been planning all along. My guess is it could be either, especially since we're getting it like three months into the new year and seven months after the RTX series cards launched, it seems like they could be taking AMD seriously or they could not be taking AMD seriously and they just thought that the 10 series was good enough to beat whatever AMD had on the market. Anyways, those are my thoughts. I think the 1660 Ti is something to maybe have a little bit of hype about. I wanna know what you guys think. Let me know down in the comments. 1660 Ti, something that you're gonna be waiting for, something that you're saving your cash for, or gosh dang it, no, I don't want Nvidia to have any more graphics card money. It needs to all go to AMD. I'm to hear every and any thought down in those comments chat with me my friends don't forget that this video is brought to you by ufd deals so if you're looking to pick up a graphics card right now and you want the best deal on it you can check that out uh probably would recommend picking up motherboards and cpus instead anyways hit the like button if you enjoyed this video please get subscribed to stay up to date on all of our tech related content i'm brett with the ufd tech channel thank you so much for watching and i'll see your smiling faces again in the next video love you too